Fate uh, Samurai Remnant was a pretty dang good game. I enjoyed it a pretty good bit. Um, I don't know if I could recommend it to non-Fate or uh, non-Musu fans, but uh, because I'm a fan of both, uh, this was right up my alley. It's got some uh, big problems in terms of its RPG mechanics, because this is typically these Musu games are you know one versus uh, one thousand, you know Dynasty Warrior style, just murdering pe peasants everywhere. That is not what this game is. It's closer to a more traditional action RPG in the mechanics are usually like arena fights you'll, you'll walk into an open area and then you know 20 guys will respond and you'll kill them and it's you know not 10 million people and you're not fighting lubu um but it's it's good for what it is the weakest point in my opinion is the just going around in town and kind of petting puppies and like collecting little um gizmos and stuff uh this gets old real quick you get, there's tons of ingredients and materials. A lot of this stuff, when you can pick it up, it's like, what, what do I need these dried lizards for? I don't know, but just collect them. You don't need them later on. That's a, Hell, I didn't even have enough dried lizards. But you, you're collecting a bunch of shit. You're doing little menial tasks and um, watching numbers grow up. It's like, oh, we'll kill 500 people with this sword stance. Kill 500 people with that sword stance. This It gets old, uh, but you kind of play it because, you know, it's... <laughs> they're trying to make an action RPG. Honestly, this would have been better if you'd have skipped this point all the way up around and just had maybe, instead of it being 30 or 40 hours, maybe have 10, and just get right to where this game shines, which is in the story, which is in the fights with the, um, your, the other servants and masters. This is almost like watching and playing a season of, of custom fate anime like a brand new spinoff um it's very good in that time i enjoy the story a lot and normally in most of these koei games is like i can just who cares but here it, it did a really good job of bringing it in um if you're not used to the lore they'll give you a refresher and so everything from the mystic codes to the servant special abilities uh and all of the rules and stuff that makes fate like a cool series all of that's here the way I would describe it to a layman would be it's it's Pokemon with historical uh, figures is what it is and then um, you gotta you gotta uh, gotta kill them all man <laughs> gotta kill them all and um, the dynamic between Iori and Saber this is gonna be oh, I'll just call it Raven Hair Saber it's just it's really good um, this is where it shines if you just hate Sabers then you know what you're not playing I mean get get out of this damn series uh, but it's it's awesome. They, you really do feel like you're working as a team with Saber. Now, the thing is, you think you're going to be playing as the Servants a whole lot? Not necessarily. You can play as most of them. But, it's mainly about Iori, and he's got like five stances, and you can level these stances up and get moves and shit in for the stances. And uh, you can kind of transition from one to the other to like build up these little buffs. And using the right stance for the right monster is pretty damn important the stances are not balanced some of them are really good uh, uh, the last one's particularly good uh but if it was you start off you feel like you're kind of shitty but you as you get in you feel like you're pretty strong now when you play the, the servants they're ridiculously strong they're like freaking full-on you know maxed out dynasty warrior characters right from the get-go and just doing crazy insane shit like zipping around the screen and doing all kinds of stuff and when you're fighting servant versus servant you know it's some awesome shit <laughs> it's really great you really do feel like you're in the anime uh but that's where this game shines the problem is there's a whole lot of talking uh to lame people doing lame quests and i think that really holds it down and i can only recommend it to people who are into fate which is going to be not that many now um i'm i did like the overall style of this game and if this is where uh omega, omega force needs to go for a while because dear god dynasty warriors 9 was a piece of shit if this is where they need to go I, i'm pretty cool with it um i've, I've liked what was a dragon quest it was another spinoff i really liked and i liked the, the zelda one was pretty good but um if you're a fan of both Fate and Dynasty Warriors, this is worth full price. If you're not, maybe give this a run or a look at at a reduced price. And I know that they never put their games on sale. But um, I had a pretty good run with it. I played on PC and ran pretty damn good. Uh, but it, the, I guess 
I guess I guess the only other thing thing is that um it I played on hard it felt really bullet spongy and hard maybe it's just period what it is uh, but um, this isn't very hard it's to actually play it felt more like buy five thousand potions and it slowly ranked down the guys freaking seven zillion down bullet sponge hit points uh, but the the actual servant battles were freaking cool man I liked them a lot and so. Uh, if there's a, a fate too, I would I would love to play it, and it really felt like a season of anime. That's where I think this is where it shined. It that the, some people are calling this like a visual novel. I would not call it a visual novel. Uh, there's a lot of gameplay here, uh, but there's also a lot of follow the bouncing blue dot, collecting freaking dried lizards and petting cats. I mean, let's just be honest that that they need to work on that part.